Hello, welcome, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beanie with two different stitch. Also in, in the video I will show you how you can make it for a kit and for an adult. I will share all my secrets and tips and this beanie will have two views. With only one stitch and with one beanie you will have two different beanies. But well, before we start, I want to invite all of you to subscribe. Remember that it's completely free. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment. I will answer back as soon as I can, I promise. And don't forget to follow me in all my social media too. So let's start. I will give you all the material list and all the steps. Well, for this beanie, we are going to need 100 grams in one color and 100 grams in a different color. We may use less than 100 grams, but I suggest always that you have more material than the one that you will need because you never know. I will use the hook of number 4 millimeters and this yarn will be a medium weight yarn. Okay, I will use white and pink. Well, we will start from the top. Even if you are going to make this beanie for a kid or for an adult, we will start the same. So first, we will make 5 chains, 3, 4 and 5. Then, we are going to close in circle, we are going to slip one, taking both threads. Ok, then we will go up with 3 chains, we will turn over and inside we are going to make 14 double crochet. So counting the first chains that we make, will count as one, so here we have three, four, and like this until we have 14. As you could see while we are making this, I'm crochet over the thread to hide it. Well, at the end of the row, and when we have 14 double crochet, we are going to slip one to close. Now look, we will it take the first stitch right away in relief. We will place the hook in the back, and from there, we will make the first stitch and then also inside we are going to make the second double crochet. So here we have two, then yarn over and in the next stitch we will place the hook in front and right there we will make two double crochet inside but also uh, placing the hook in the back. We are going to alternate. Here we are going to place the hook in the back. Remember that in the last stitch we place it the hook in front. But like we are going to alternate, we are going to place the hook in the back and make right there two double crochet in the same place. And here we are going to place the hook in front and right there inside two double crochet together. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Alternating once we are going to place the hook in front and once in the back. Well, here at the end, we are going to finish this last stitch, placing the hook in front and right there. Also, remember making two double crochet together. Remember that we are starting with 14 stitches. Now that we made double the whole throw, we are going to have 28 double crochet. Okay, so please count them if you have a doubt. Well, so this is row number 3. We will start the first with the first stitch right away, placing the hook in the back. You see, so this is where we start. We will place the hook in the back, make a single crochet, then we will go up with 2 chains. The stitch that is next to it, right here in the left side, we are going to place the hook in the back too and make a double crochet and a second double crochet in the same place. And remember that in the last row we made them all them double. So we are going to place the hook here in front and this will go single. We will make one double crochet in each double crochet. The ones that we have this little pleat in front, we are going to place the hook the same. But here where we have this pleat like more pop, we are going to make two single crochet together. Well, this is what we have. We will finish with the two singles right here and we are going to slip one to close. 
so I want to show you so this will be the front but also in the back so you have two views right as you could see here we made two singles and in front we have doubles well again we are going to make a review so we will start always in relief placing the hook in the back we are going to make a single crochet then two chains and then here we are going to make remember single like this then the one that it's in front we are going to make it doubled so two double crochet in the same place you see so here is what we made in the last row too so the one starting in the back single here we have two singles and then the one that it's in front double and as you could see the stitch by the ons will let you what's next so we will have three then four then five singles and then at the end of the row remember that we are going to uh, slip one to close and um, we are going to continue like this it will continue growing you see so here again this one single and the one that it's like in front uh, we will go double so here we are going to make two uh, double crochet together remember two in the same place and like this the stitch by the rounds will grow we will go like in a spiral right well again let's make a review this will go single 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 and then the one that it's like this like with this split in front will go double and like this is how we are going to increase you see well look it is easier to count the rows this way so here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten rows okay so we have this spiral if we use the centimeters we have from side to side 20 centimeters remember that this is for an adult if you want it for a kid approximately 16 centimeters or for a baby uh, you will need to make 12 centimeters well we are going to continue making more rows and I think that for an adult size it's enough so for now I think that we are going to continue with the stitches that we have so we will start also in relief by making like single crochet at the beginning and then two chains just to go up and then we are going to continue so here we have two three four five six seven eight nine and remember that here we are we're supposed to make it double but we are going to make it single because we don't want to increase more so we will we will have ten so like this we are going to continue making 10 in each segment and like this the whole row as you could see I'm not alternating I'm placing the hook always in front well look without increasing we made 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 rows so in total we have let's count so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 rows so i think that it's enough so with this number of rows and with centimeters we are going to count the centimeters so here we have approximately 15 16 centimeters so you can have them also as a reference because remember that we all crochet different and for a kid i think that 13 or 12 centimeters will be enough so once you are sure with the rows that you have now we are going to continue with the next stitch and in this case how we change the color for a white color remember that both yarns are medium weight yarns 
So here where I finish is where I will start with the white color. I will go up with three chains. And we are going to make this pineapples. <laughs> Turn over, so here we have two, three, okay, again, three, and pull, okay, and four. Then uh, bring them all of them through, make one chain to close, and here we have this first pineapple of popcorn like you want. Then we are going to make placing the hook like this in front we will make a double crochet so here we have one then placing the hook in the back a second double crochet placing the hook in front a third double crochet so after the pineapple we have three then four as you could see we are alternating where we place the hook so we will turn over and right here in the fourth we are going to make the next pineapple. So turn over, insert your hook, remember that we are going to make four and then bring all of them together and make one chain to close. Then three double crochet once we are going to place the hook in front like this. So here we have one, then in the back two, and three again then here we are going to make the a pineapple popcorn how can we call this so like this is how we are going to continue the whole throw okay after three double crochet also in the relief we are going to make a popcorn well for the next row well this is how I finish here I have some stitches left but I will skip them because I want that I want to finish with the same stitches that I started. So I will skip it. This is a secret just between you and me. And so far we have this. Now for the next row, we are going to make one row of only double crochet. But in relief, we will take the stitches as it, it went. So for example, here we place the hook in the back. And this is how we are going to start. So we will go up with two chains and then we are going to respect how we took the stitch in the last row and we are going to continue making double crochet the whole row here where we have the pineapple remember that we place the hook in the back and we will go up then in front and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row making this row of only double crochet Okay, so see you at the end of this row. Well, at the end of the row, we are going to slip one to close. Okay, right here, taking both parts of the chain. So now for the next row, we are going to repeat the first row that we made, but we are going to alternate the spaces. So we are going to place it right here in the middle. But look, so we will start the row exactly the same. We will go up one and two chains. We will respect. And the goal is that we made the pineapple right here in the middle. Okay. Sorry, I have to cut because an airplane was passing by and it made a lot of noise. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to continue. Remember that I told you that here in the middle we are going to make the pineapple and then we are going to continue and we are going to respect how we took the stitches. Also, placing the hook in the back, placing the hook in front. Here where I have the pineapple, I did made a double crochet and here in this stitch, placing the hook in the back is where we are going to make the pineapple. Like this, we are going to continue making more rows until we get the elastic that we want for our beanie. Okay, so we are going to alternate once pineapple, once one row of only double crochet, and then again one row of pineapples, and like this until we have uh, the rows that we need. Okay, remember that for a kit will change, so please take that into account the number.
Okay, so at the end, I've made three rows with pineapples, one, two, and three, and three rows with only double crochet. I think that for me, for an adult, it's enough. So I will stop right here. One at the end, you can make a crevice stitch or a single crochet row just here to finish. In this case, I will cut and now I will decorate with a pom pom right here. I want to show you a technique uh, that I found that I used to make when I was younger and I want to show you. Okay, before I let you go, remember that we are going to hide all the threads that we may have using the embroidery needle or your hook. As you could see, this beanie has two views. You see, in the other side, we will only have uh, the stitches in relief without the pineapples that we made. You will decide also if you want the pineapples facing to this side, so you just have to turn and start in the wrong side and make the pineapples right here like you decide okay but so far we have this and now we are ready to decorate it with a, a pom-pom i know that nowadays exist pom-poms maker of plastic that are uh, well done but, but when i was younger this didn't exist so I made these cardboards, literally I bought a box of tostadas and I used the, uh, the cardboard and I made these circles with 10 centimeters, the big circle and the small circle with 5. I find this cardboard so thin, so I will uh, put two cardboards in front and two cardboards in the back. You will see that with this it will be so easy for you. It will look like more chunky and I think that it's a funny, um, I'm sorry the airplane is passing by, I hope that you didn't listen it. But well, you can ask your kids to help you, I find this technique very easy and you can include them by making this activity, they will have a lot of fun. So you put uh, the thread inside, now what we are going to do with the embroidery needle, if you don't have one, well, you can do it by your own. Uh, we are going to pass by this thread and we are going to continue making more laps like this, or I don't know how to, how to say it. But look, we are going to continue like this. Probably I should have put more threads so it will be faster than instead of only one thread. So this is what we are going to do. Yes, I think that it's a better idea, right? So I will put more threads in my embroidery needle and then I will continue. Okay, now that we have these three or you can put four threads like you want, now we are going to continue, okay? We are going to go all around until we fill all the spaces. I will use the embroidery needle because it's easier, but if you want, you can just don't use it and do it like this. As I told you, you can include your kids to help you, and also you can use this technique so they can make more pom-poms and maybe decorate whatever they want. So I think that it's an amazing activity. Today we are going to use it to make the popcorn, sorry, the pom-pom that will go and in the top of our beanie. So look, in this case the yarn that I was using, it uh, finished, but don't worry, we are going to continue, I want that it looks more puffy, remember that we are going to have, I mean we have to fill the circle that it's in the middle, so keep making more, um, more laps, so we are going to cover these threads that we have here, I will cut more. Or just I will just cover them and we are going to continue making more and more so this pom-pom can be so puffy. Well as you could see here we already filled the space that it's in the middle so now we are going to use these scissors and then let's make a space 
we are going to cut right here in the middle between also the cardboards they will also help us as a reference to see exactly where we are going to continue it will be like a guide right so we are going to cut right here between I think these scissors will help me better so I want to uh, make this step with you so you can see exactly how is it so we are going to cut please be patient and uh, don't worry because at the end you will have the opportunity to give uh, the shape that you want to your pom pom to make it like more round and beautiful so for now don't worry we are going to continue cutting right here in the middle of this cardboard I want to show you so you can trust in the process <laughs> and as you could see I think it's it's simple it's easy and as I told you you can show your kids how to make pom-poms using this technique as and as you could see we recycle too uh, so you can uh, use the cardboard that you have there and make these circles and make these pom-poms so now that we finished look we are going to take two threads like this of the same yarn and we are going to pass these threads in the middle of the cardboards that we used as a guide you see and between them we are going to pass this here I have to cut these threads that were missing okay so we are going to very careful and slowly we are going to pass the three threads between the cardboards and right there we are going to make a knot please a very tight knot let's make a second knot okay very tight okay I think that it's enough if not you can make a third knot like you want just to make sure okay like this let's make one more because you never know right so remember to leave a long thread because later we will use it to sew now that you are sure we are going to cut these cardboards that we have here so we could take them away you see now we can open and up bone bone is ready you see how easy and beautiful so now you can cut and give the shape that you want in this case I will cut like this and it will be so fun and relaxed and like this you can make more pop more pom bones and decorate whatever you want in this case we are going to decorate the top of our beanie I will place it with embroidery needle I will sew I will pass it through and here behind I will make a knot then I will hide all the threads that I have and with this we finish now let's see the final result so look now you have a beanie with two views I hope that you will enjoy making this beautiful project with me remember subscribe it's completely free to leave me a comment and to share this video if you like it. See you soon. Bye bye.